This is a Fox News alert. Growing backlash this morning over the Irish Prime Minister's posted response to nine year old Emily Hand, an Irish Israeli released on Saturday. He referred to her as lost and now found. The Israeli Foreign Minister firing back in part, writing, Emily Hand was not lost. She was kidnapped by a terror organization. Irish protesters also raging against their government, accusing it of downplaying terror after an Algerian immigrant is questioned in the stabbing of children outside of a Dublin school. Here to react, host of Piers Morgan Uncensored on Fox Nation. Here's Morgan. Hey, Piers. Good morning, Ainsley. Good Before morning. we get to this, can I just say, I don't have to go shopping with Brian, right? That's not the new <laughs> yes, box do. thing, is it? Yes, you do. Piers, yes. next time I come to London, for whatever the king decides to do, you and I will go shopping together and we'll make Brian jealous. I would love to go shopping with you, Ainsley, <laughs> but having seen Brian's wardrobe, it's not going to end well <laughs> if I go out with him. He's laughing. He's over there behind the camera. <laughs> OK, so, Piers, what's your reaction to this? What's happening in Ireland? It's a Catholic community. What is going on? Well, two things. First of all, in relation to what the Taoiseach, who is the Prime Minister, Leo Varadkar, has said, uh, it was quite extraordinary. He tweeted part of a statement that he made in relation to his little girl, Emily Hand, whose father touched all our hearts, I think, with these agonising interviews that he gave. First, when he thought that she had died, uh, where he said he was, he was actually pleased that she was dead and wasn't suffering at the hands of Hamas terrorists as a hostage. Then he was told she might be alive. And then these amazing pictures of them being reunited. I'm so happy for him. You know, your heart just bursts with joy that he's got uh, finally uh, his little girl back. However, uh, there's no part of this story which involves a lost and found scenario. Yet the Prime Minister of Ireland actually tweeted how pleased he was that she'd been lost and now found. And quite understandably, there's been outrage, not just around the world and from the uh, Israelis and Jewish communities, but also from Ireland, saying, is that it, really? That's your categorization of what happened to that little girl? She was taken from a kibbutz. She's nine years old, taken from a kibbutz where she was with her friend having a little sleepover. She was taken for more than 50 days, held captive in tunnels, by a bunch of terrorists. And when Varadkar was held up to account for this appallingly tone-deaf tweet, he then referred people to his wider statement. And I've read that wider statement, and there are three extraordinary things about that statement. He never mentions Hamas in that statement. He never refers to the people who did this as terrorists. Uh, and he never, at any stage, condemns them. So here you have the Prime Minister of Ireland, not only doing a terrible tone-deaf tweet, but also completely failing to categorise the people who did this in the proper way or to issue any condemnation of what they had done. And I think that is a, a shameful dereliction of duty as Prime Minister. Yeah, the full statement was 360 words. He did go on to refer Emily as a hostage later on in the statement. But then the Enterprise Minister, when, when the Prime Minister was criticised, the Enterprise Minister said, yeah, but that's a biblical term, lost and now found. And then there was backlash because that's from the New Testament. And uh, the, he's talking about, you know, a little Jewish, a little Jewish girl. So... Um, that was not lost on, on the community either in Israel. So people are also criticizing him, Pierce, for not, the media's not really covering the stabbings. It hasn't you know, been brought to a lot of people's attention. What, what do you think is the overall picture there? What's going on? Well, there's another you know, terrible situation which happened a few days ago where you mm -hmm. had uh, an Algerian migrant who was known to the police. He'd been involved in an, an incident involving an attack on a car. He then had been caught with a knife. So this was a guy known to police, known to be trouble. He'd become uh, an Irish citizen and had been there for two decades. Uh, but he was known to be a, a potential problem. Uh, and there he, he goes completely berserk in the street. He attacks uh, a young woman. He attacks three children, one of whom is critically ill. And understandably, there's huge outrage from the people of Ireland again over what has happened here, but also outrage at the way that Varadkar has handled this, because there were some bad scenes in terms of the way that a mob behaved on the streets after this, and no one would condone the violence that was seen. And it's perfectly fine to say that that is uh, not what people should be doing. But at no stage has Varadkar actually tried to understand the anger and fury of his people over what has happened here, all the growing concerns about the uh, flood of migrants into Ireland, as there are indeed all over Europe. Uh, he didn't seem to be concerned about that. His only concern was about the reaction 
to what had happened, not the perpetrator, not what that person had done to these poor little kids and this woman. And so, again, uh, Varadkar, the prime minister of, of Ireland, seemed to be completely tone deaf, incapable, it seems, of making the right call and making the right statements at a critical time for his country, one domestic and one on the international stage. So big questions that he now has to answer about his leadership, uh, and they're coming from his own people. Okay, Piers, thank you so much. Y'all can watch Piers. He's on every day in the afternoons at 4.30 on Fox Nation. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.